Okay, this is a video of how to install the Red Hat Container Development Kit version 2. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to this URL right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And you want to download the Red Hat Container Tools, this link right here. And in my case, I'm downloading the Vagrant Box for VirtualBox. As you can see, they're downloading and they're almost completed. So that's your first step. Now that we've downloaded our CDK and our Vagrant Box for VirtualBox, as you can see, they're in this directory here. There's the VirtualBox itself. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to add. So you're going to use this command right here. Vagrant box add, then give it a name, and then the box name. So. So there it's added. So if I do a vagrant box list, I see that I have the virtual box CDK2 there. Okay. And now I want to initialize it, because as you can see, there's no vagrant file in this directory right now. Same. So I want to do vagrant init CDK2. And that's going to create the vagrant file. And there's the vagrant file. So now we're going to do vagrant up. And what's going to happen here is this is going to be kind of a long drawn out process where um, since this is a, um, a Red Hat Enterprise Linux vagrant virtual box, um, what it's going to do is it's going to register. It's going to prompt you to register using a subscription manager. Um, it's got all that built in, but you'll see as we go along. So. I type Vagrant up, and then it's going to import the box. This is going to take a few moments. Ninety percent, okay. And now it's setting it, setting all the parameters to launch it. And there's that timeout warning. Vagrant registration. Okay, would you like to register the system now? Yes. So my username. and my password. This is for subscription manager. This is something that you would have already done um, with a Red Hat ISV partner program. You'll have a user ID and password. And that's the same one that you use to log into access.redhat.com or to connect.redhat.com. And this is going to seem to sit here and do nothing, but in the background what it's doing is it's it's um, it's initializing all of the um, it's initializing all of the necessary things on the vagrant box like Docker and it's registering it's registering it using subscription manager it's installing Docker and it's installing a few other things so this will take a few moments. Back up here, where we gave it a name, CDK2. You can call that whatever you want, but I just named it CDK2 for simplicity. Okay, it looks like it's done. So now if we go vagrant, box, list, you'll see that it's there. Okay, now 
just so okay so I'm running I'm running Fedora 20 right now vagrant SSH that's going to log me into the vagrant box and you see the prompt changed a little bit so I'll do cat Etsy Red Hat release see it's using Red Hat Enterprise 7.2 so now, um, Docker version, install Docker. Coop control version. So it's a client server version, okay? So that's how you install.